given the magnitude of electric field at a distance r from an infinite thin rod having linear density lambda i will take a point p and it is at a distance of r from this rod so i have to find out what is the electric field at this point p for this i will use gauss law so i will just draw a gaussian surface such that this point p lies on the surface of this uh, cylindrical Gaussian surface. So here in cylindrical Gaussian surface we are having uh, uh, two ends and one curved surface. So if I, if I will draw here area vector that will be n cap, area vector will be n cap vertically downwards and this will be area vector at this point. So also electric field along this ends it will be along this direction here electric field is along this direction so angle between area vector and electric field is 90 here so it's all again 90 here so along the ends the flux net flux along ends is equal to zero because electric field and area vector has 90 angles so it will be cos 90 that will be zero as per uh, gauss law so only curved surface this contributes towards the net flux so net flux it will be equal to integral of electric field in surface integral of electric field and that is equal to charge and close divided by epsilon naught as per gauss law so flux through the curved surface it will be q and close divided by epsilon naught since the height of this gaussian surface is h so we know that linear charge density it's given by it is charge per unit length that will be h q divided by h so what will be q now q will be lambda times h here curved surface area of this cylinder it will be equal to it will be 2 pi r into h so i will solve this integral i will take e out of the integration that will be close integral of surface integral that will be q and close how much is q and close it is lambda times h divided by epsilon naught since this will be the integration of this small ds so it will give us a total curved surface area of the cylinder so it will be e into that will be 2 pi r into h is equal to lambda times h divided by epsilon naught and if we are getting e is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r so this is our expression